already we have seen what is steady state error and uh, error constants position error constant velocity error constant and acceleration error constants we have seen now let us see generalized error constants for a closed loop system g of s equal to for a closed loop system g of s equal to 1 upon s plus 5 and h of s equal to h of s equal to 5 h of s equal to 5 calculate the generalized error coefficients and find the error series what is the error series what is the error series E steady state generalized error series equal to C naught R of T minus C1 R dot of T divided by 1 factorial plus tau uh, that is inside C1 okay plus C2 R double dot of T divided by 2 factorial plus etc plus C k kth derivative of R upon k factorial. That's all. This is a generalized error series. What is the question? Calculate the generalized error coefficients. What are the generalized error coefficients? C naught, C C one, C two, etc. So, what is C naught? Generalized error coefficient C naught equal to limit S tends to 0 F of S. Limit S tends to 0 F of S is 1 upon 1 plus G of S H of S. G of S H of S. Substitute limit S tends to 0 1 upon 1 plus G of S is 1 by S plus 5 and h of s equal to 5. Therefore, what you will get is s plus 5 whole divided by s plus 5 plus 5. s plus 5 plus 5. That is equal to s plus 5 divided by s plus 10. Limit S tends to 0. Limit S tends to 0. Limit S tends to 0. That is equal to 5 by 10 equal to 0.5. C naught equal to 0.5. What is C1? C1 equal to <coughs> limit S tends to 0 d by ds of f of s. What is f of s? f of s is this s plus 5 divided by s plus 10 is f of s. Therefore, limit s tends to 0 d by ds of s plus 5 upon s plus 10. That is equal to limit s tends to 0 s plus 10 whole square s plus 10. Derivative of numerator is 1 plus s plus 5. De derivative, de derivative of denominator is again 1. Therefore, limit s tends to 0, s plus 10 plus s plus 5 whole divided by mi minus s plus 10 minus s plus 5 upon s plus 10 whole square that is equal to s getting cancelled therefore 10 minus 5 is 5 divided by if you limit s tends to 0 what you will get 100 10 square 100 5 by 100 that is equal to 0 0.05 c1 equal to 0 0.05 at least we have to find the three coefficients in the examination. 
mm, at least three. So let us find C3, C2 also. C2 equal to what? Limit S tends to zero D by D square by D S square of S plus five upon S plus 10. Second derivative of this. What is first derivative? We know D by D S of limit, limit the S tends to zero. D by D S of D upon D S of first derivative is what? S plus 10 whole square. Numerator, S getting cancelled and you are getting 5 only in the numerator. 5 upon S plus 10 whole square. 5 upon S plus 10 whole square. That is equal to that is equal to limit limit S tends to 0 limit S tends to 0 derivative of this is equal to what? 1 by S square it becomes S cube and the derivative of this is 1 therefore what you will get a minus minus 5 we are taking outside minus 2 1 upon S plus 10 whole cube that is equal to limit S tends to 0 therefore minus 10 upon 1000 that is equal to minus 0 0.01 C2 that's all that is sufficient only three terms if you write then it is okay third term is negative first term and second term are positive Therefore, generalized error series is limit S tends to generalized error series E steady state equal to limit T tends to infinity E of T equal to E of T equal to what is the first term? C1 equal to 0.05. C1 equal to 0.05. R of t plus what is second term? C1 equal to first term is 0.5. First term is 0.5. Second term is 0.05. 0.5 R dot of t plus third term is minus minus 0.01. That is C2. R double dot of t plus etc plus etc that's all that is the series so first part is over find error series first part is we have to find a c naught c1 c generalized error coefficient only three is sufficient